A federal watchdog agency recommended that White House counselor Kellyanne Conway be fired for violating the Hatch Act, essentially campaigning while in federal office. When you were HUD secretary, the same agency accused you of the same thing. Uh, President Obama gave you a pass. Should President Trump give Kellyanne Conway a pass? Thank you for the question. Um, let, me, let me just uh, explain sort of what happened back then. And also, let me apply that to the political climate that I think that we have today. Uh, so in 2016, when Hillary Clinton was running, I was doing an interview at the HUD studio, uh, I think with Katie Couric. And um, we were talking about HUD business, about housing, and, and then she asked me a question about the presidential race. And I said, well, just let me put on my other hat. And, and I talked about why I supported Hillary Clinton. Um, somebody complained that that was a violation of the Hatch Act. And, you know, we consulted with our HUD general counsel, and they said, you know what, that, that, that is. And so I said, I made a mistake. I'm going to make sure that I admit that and that we will do everything that we can so that I understand where those lines are and that everybody else on my team understands where those lines are. I think it's important for leaders to be able to acknowledge when they've made mistakes and then to be able to take proper action to correct that. The difference between me and Kellyanne Conway is, and the Office of Special Counsel pointed this out, she violated the Hatch Act, and instead of saying, okay, look, I'm going to take these efforts to make sure that doesn't happen again, she said, to hell with it. I'm going to keep doing it. They said that she had repeatedly done that. That's the difference. I don't, I don't think that we're going to find anybody, either in this race or in our homes and in our community, that has never made mistakes. The true test of a leader is, what do you do when you make that mistake? Are you big enough to own up to it and then make sure that you correct what you do in the future? Or do you do basically what she did, which is to say, no, I'm bigger than that. No, she did the wrong thing. And I support the Office of Special Counsel's determination that because she repeatedly violated it, even though she was clearly told that it was a violation, that she should be removed from office. But in reality, you're pretty sure she won't be.